Hi, this is your host Satin Bhartia and welcome to our 2022 prediction series and we have with us today Liran Hemovic, CTO and co-founder of Rookout. Liran, it's great to have you on the show. It's great to be here. Before I ask you to pick up your crystal ball and share your predictions, please could you tell us what is Rookout all about? So Rookout is all about dynamic observability. What we do is we provide engineers the tools to see into their software, to see into their code as it's running, so that you can get variable values, stack traces, anything you want from every line of code without having to pre-plan, putting logs, metrics, and traces to and know exactly what's going to happen before it does. Excellent. Now it's time for you to grab the crystal ball and tell me what predictions you have for 2022. So I have a few predictions. First, I think we're going to see developer communities going back offline to a certain degree. I mean, we're not going to go, go all ba- the way back. We're still going to be seeing some hybrid and a lot of online activities. But all, I've been to a few conferences over the past few weeks, and we've been signing up to a lot in 2022. And we see that engineers are really anxious to be, to be back together, to seeing each other, to communicating, to having more offline activities. I think that can even surprises many of us because engineers have been traditionally considered very introvert and kind of very, they like their home, they like being away from people. But I think we're going to see that changes a lot over the next year. My second prediction is that with Kubernetes becoming more mature, and in fact, so many companies are adopting it, it's kind of becoming the standard. I think we're also going to start seeing a Kubernetes successors over the next year. I mean, Kubernetes is great. It's awesome. It's way better than everything we had in the past, but it's also ex- incredibly complex and it, it can be sometimes very expensive to operate, especially uh, in smaller scales. And I'm guessing we're going to start uh, seeing new technology that offers a lighter approach to orchestration that's going to make things easier, smoother. I'm not sure if we're going to start seeing the new king of the hill next year, but I'm definitely th- believe that we're going to start seeing some options, some new companies saying they have something better, lighter, and that's going to get some traction. My third prediction is that we're going to start seeing observability become more dynamic as a standard. And we're seeing more companies diving into the mix. We've seen acquisitions. We've seen new companies started. And I think as a whole, with the scale becoming ever larger year over year and a uh, Key metrics such as quality, SLA, uptime, MTTR, all becoming even more important. We can't rely anymore on trying to collect everything, trying to log everything, trying to get a metric for everything. And we're going to have to find new ways to make that observability more dynamics, whether it's tools like the Rookout Live Debugger or Live Logger, or we can see other tools. But at the end of the day, we need to be more agile in how we collect data for observability, and we can't rely as much on the traditional, more static approach, kind of waterfall design of try to get everything, try to pre-plan all the time, and so on. Liran, thank you for sharing those predictions. Now, if I ask you, what is going to be the focus for the company in 2022? So the focus for Rookout is going to be about increasing adoption. We have recently launched our Golang support, and this now makes it the sixth platform we support. We're seeing a lot of demand from the market for adopting those tools. And we're also wanting to further expand our reach. We want to see LiveLogger, our solution for a low collection, uh, for dynamic low collection, uh, become a mainstream. We're looking to expand into other runtimes and in general, create a better uh, cloud native debugging experience. Liran, thank you so much for, of course, sharing about the company, these predictions, and the focus. And as usual, I would love to have you back on the show, but maybe not this year, but certainly next year. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's been been fun.